Hello everyone and welcome back to Frag vs. Evil. We are back playing Silent Hill 3. We are about to enter Heather's apartment, which I just got a little turned around. I think it's right over here. And this is a major part of the story right here. So I'm going to open up this door and I'm going to shut the hell up. Dad, I'm home. Listen, something really crazy is going on. I think we should... Dad? Dad? Did you do this? You're late. But why? Why? Revenge for 17 years ago, for one thing. If not for him, our dream would have come true. And then he took you away from us. Another reason to fill your heart with hatred. It must be this way. One day you'll understand why. No, I'll never understand! You must try to remember me and your true self as well. You will birth a god and build an eternal paradise. the one who killed your father. I merely gave the order. So, what will you do? I'll be waiting where all begins. In the town of Silent Hill. Alright, so boom, there's that bombshell again, if you guys don't remember already from what the guy told us earlier, that, uh... Oh god, this thing is fucking terrifying. From what the guy told us earlier, is that Harry was our dad. So, yeah, Cheryl is literally just the reincarnation of Lessa from the first game, if you don't remember. If you want to go back and watch my playthrough of the first game, I highly recommend it. It. Great dodging skills there, Frank. Really killing it. Kick him in the ass! Hold on, let me uh, heal up really quick. I'm doing pretty good with health already, but... How many medkits do I have? Six. Okay, I only have six. Also, I have a shotgun, dude. So, you know, let's, let's use the shotgun. Ow! Yeah, bitch. Kick you in the taint. Huh? Come on. So yeah, it was just a really uh, depressing uh, start to the episode, man. Harry's dead. Wow, did I really kill him already? I don't know what to say. Been 
don't say anything. I'm fine, so just get out of here and leave me alone already! Calm down. I just... Calm down? How am I supposed to do that? My father is dead! He's murdered! <gasps> get out! This is all your fault! If it weren't for you... I'm sorry. Then go! If it'll make you feel better, I will. Is he okay like this? What else can I do? There's no one here to give him a decent burial. <sighs> I'm sorry, Dad. I'm going to Silent Hill. What's in Silent Hill? I don't know. Do you think it's safe? Of course it isn't. I don't know what kind of hell is waiting for me there, but I've got no other choice. I don't care about God or paradise. If that's what she believes, then fine. But she won't get away with what she did. When I find her, I'll kill her myself. Revenge doesn't solve anything. Maybe not, but that's what I'm going to do. How are you going to get there? None of your business. I'll give you a ride. I don't need your help. Yeah, but it's too far to walk. Besides, I'm partly responsible for this. I'll bring the car around back. Come by when you finish saying goodbye. You know, you might die too. That's fine. Nobody's gonna cry over my grave. Alright, so I tried my best not to talk over that cutscene at all. There's nothing odd about the TV or the VCR. I love how they're talking. They're like, there's no one around to give him a decent burial. Um, there's two people just now that could have buried him. That guy could have carried him outside, and you guys could have buried him together. I'll be back, Dad. I promise I'll come home soon. It's such a sad way to start the episode off, you know? Because Harry was, like, such a badass in the first game. There's my toilet. Okay. Well, time to leave. Harry was such a badass in the first game. Just to see him go like that is just it's so sad, man. Dad, why did you have to die? You told me you were the strongest man in the world. Liar. <laughs> Damn. That'd be a bitch about it. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. That's where I really want to go. I, I really want to go to Silent Hill, you know? I got a stun gun and a stun battery. I think this the stun gun was, like, really shitty because I don't really remember using it very often. Oh, there's two batteries there, wasn't there? Yeah, okay. I, I think I remember that being, like, really terrible. I don't remember exactly when, but I think I got this doll at a garage sale. I still like it, but there's nothing I can do with it right now. <laughs> but I'll take this walnut! I love how this guy's just so willing to take me to Silent Hill. It's like, hey, you're gonna die. Yeah, fuck it. You know, I've lived long enough. All right, time to go to Silent Hill. I just met some guy named Vincent. Vincent? He's a friend of yours, right? Well, I'm not sure. He said when we get to Silent Hill, to look for a guy named Leonard, and he gave me this map. What do you want to do? We can't trust him, but we've got no other choice.
Here, take this too. What's this? Your father was holding it. What's the deal with Silent Hill, anyway? It used to be a nice, quiet little town. But now... You've been there? Once. On a missing persons case. Never did find him. But I'll tell you, that's one screwed up town. My line of work... You hear a lot of nasty rumors. I was born and raised there. <sighs> Sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. No offense taken. Anyway, I thought you grew up in Portland. What's wrong? Feeling sick? My head's pounding like the worst hangover ever. Maybe your car sick. No. I'm just trying to remember. My childhood. Something terrible happened in Silent Hill 17 years ago. A woman named Dahlia. She tried to summon the ancient god of the town. She offered up her very own daughter. That's crazy. Maybe so, but it worked. The girl gave birth to a god. You see, that girl had special powers. Powers? Her classmates called her a witch. She could make things happen with her mind. She could kill people just by wishing for it. But in the end, that god was killed by a single person. Father, Harry Mason. I guess it wasn't much of a god if it could be killed by a human being. But I think Claudia's trying to do the same thing again. And I've been chosen as the sacrifice. You've got some kind of power in you too? After the god was killed, the girl reappeared. She was holding a baby in her arms. Before she died, she gave the baby to my father. his very own daughter. Even though he didn't know who or what I was. It was so sudden. I never had a chance tell you, to tell you how happy you made me. I'm 
I'm gonna head for that Leonard guy's house. You check out the hospital. You got the map, right? Yeah. You gonna be okay alone? I'm not a child, you know. Are you sure it's not you who's afraid to be alone? You're right. I am afraid. I'm 50 something years old. I never seen nothing like this. I still feel like I'm dreaming. <laughs> More like a nightmare, I'd say. <sighs> yeah. I want to wake up and have a smoke on. Meet me back here when you finish looking around the hospital. Okay? Roger. Alright, this is a very cutscene heavy episode apparently. Um, this has got to be a coincidence, but still, that's pretty weird. Who could have done this? All right, so we're gonna save again, and we're going to my favorite place ever in Silent Hill, the hospital again, woo! Can't wait to go there again. All right, here we are. The streets of Silent Hill, we got the map. So we need to head to the hospital, okay. All right, well, let's get going. I think it's this direction, and then left all the way the first road, okay. The hospital is probably the most terrifying spot. Oh, hey puppy, no thanks. In this entire game. Um, before we go any further, let me look in my inventory real quick. So we have that notebook from Dad. Dad wrote about my past in here. As always, this should be novelized. Let's take a look at this real quick, because uh, I wanted to read this. I hope this will never come to any use. Maybe it's better if you never know. More than anything else, I fear the possibility of your going away. Far from me. But sometimes we have to tell the truth. That's why I'm writing this, before I'm lost in death and oblivion. What happened back then? That has something to do with who you are. It all started 24 years ago, coming back from a vacation my wife and I found, a baby on the side of the highway. Since we were childless, we thank God for letting us meet this child, this girl. We took her home. Three years later, my wife died, and another four years later, 17 years ago, I came to Silent Hill. I heard this girl's pleas and took her with me, not knowing why she wanted us to go there. And it was there that this girl went away. Not that she actually went anywhere, nor did she die. Returned to her original self. That's what Dahlia Galepsi said. Original self. That was the young woman burned by her mother as a sacrifice to God, Alessa Galepsi. Yeah, God, Galepsi, God damn, I can't talk. Half her soul escaped in those flames and went on to live in a baby. In that girl of mine. Ours. Seven years passed before that half a girl returned to Silent Hill and made Alessa whole again. Newly strengthened, she vowed to kill God. God, a fetus nestled into the sacrificial girl's womb, was summoned with the usual rites. This was Alessa's wish, no matter what the outcome, even if her own existence were at stake. But that wish was not granted. My interruption meant she prayed and said for the girl's return. I alone couldn't bring her back. Dahlia did it. I only helped at the birthing ceremony to bring God out of Alessa. The newly born God wailed once and was dead. All from that girl's and probably less as conscious resistance. Conscious resistance. God, I can't talk. That's not the end. After God had vanished in a glow of light, Alessa reappeared and gave me a baby. She looked a lot like the girl so long ago. And then Alessa was gone. Dead. There was nothing I could have done to help. I simply crutched... Crutched. I simply clutched the baby to my chest and ran off. The whole thing felt like a dream and I had proof that it wasn't. The girl was nowhere to be found. And in my arms, the baby... Now 17 years has passed, it feels like only yesterday, and again, it feels like a million years ago. I confess I had reservations at first about raising that baby. Could I love her? Her existence was thoroughly unexplainable. I thought she could be that young woman that snatched away my beloved daughter, that led to sadness, anger. There were times when I put my hands around her little throat. Several times I even considered abandoning her. That's what a terrible person I am. But I decided to raise her after all, I just couldn't seem to let her go. When she... When you look at me, you laugh, so even now I can't forget about that girl. But I love you. I have no doubt about that. That's all I ask you to believe. To my precious daughter, Harry Mason. So in the dad's notebook, we have a special letter to Heather about how her dad wanted to kill her 
just to prevent her from becoming something insanely evil, which is, uh, insanely dark and depressing. So if you guys aren't aware already, I played Silent Hill 1 on this channel. You can go back and watch the entire playthrough if you want to learn more about the story. Am I going the right way? Um, okay, right up here on the right is the hospital. And yeah, it kind of, like, pieces things together a little more for you if you don't know who Harry Mason is. Oh, there's a puppy. Oh, I think this is where we want to go. Gah! Get out of here! <laughs> Gosh, it feels so good to be at the hospital again. Let me tell you. Am I excited to be here? Also, here's a save. So you know what? We're going to save the game, and we're going to call it right there for today's episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like and comment down below. Subscribe for new videos. Uh, you click the bell if you want to get notified when I upload. This episode was a little more cutscene heavy than normal, so I apologize if you guys think that was kind of short. But I will see you guys shortly with some more Silent Hill 3. This has been Frank, signing off.